as far as today, I only have one watch. It's W Day. Um, it is related to earnings or an earnings warning or whatever. Free earnings. Oops. And, of course, NVIDIA, if you're in any NVIDIA calls, could it go higher this week? Yes. Do I think today set the dream target? Yes. So, you know, I mean, it's just, again, you can watch it this morning, but this is, you know, it was a great call, and I called a bunch of trades in it, and it's pretty much at the dream target. I mean, it was basically almost at 850 this morning. And if we get done early enough today, we'll talk about the market. If not, we'll talk about it tomorrow. And we're going to put the stop in this to Amy 60. And it's just going to be really big. We're going to do 277 by 280. There! Oh, just don't even worry about where you got Just make sure you put the stop in. 2860. It is what it is. There was no other way. Here, you can still do it. You can still do it. It's just very spreading. Where we got filled, just make sure you're okay with your size and have the stop in. 280, 60. Here we go. W day. There was no way to get a perfect entry in this. <clears throat> 275. Here we go. We're on our way to 275. Gosh, this spread is changing a lot, too. Oh, I think we're okay where we have it, but look at this. We're on our way to 275, 272, 270. Randy, I have up one stock. That's the only thing I had up this morning and I did right in the room. Can you not see, Randy? You don't have the charts? I only wrote one thing in the room this morning. It was W day and I only have one chart up. It's W day and it's too late to do the trade now, Randy. It's way too late to do it. Don't chase it. But don't you have any charts, Randy? Hello, Randy, I'm talking to you. You have no charts. You can't see anything. Well, you got to get with Rashawn. I'll have him call you today. I mean, does everybody else see my chart? Randy has no charts. Randy, you can sign out, sign back in if you want, see if that clears it. But this was the whole point of doing the update. Every single person in here now should be absolutely fine. And the problem was everybody was in different versions, and it was messing up everything. So everybody's got to get on the updated version. That's number one. And everybody has to be in the same version. And everyone should be working perfectly, and everyone should be fixed. So, so Randy, Randy, sign out and sign, sign back, back in. And see if it comes up. Um, it did get to 275 and you could have got out. I wasn't even paying attention because Randy was asking me a question. 274.28, let's see. Well, if that was good, I missed my exit. One more push in here, we're going to get out of this though. But this really should fix every problem for everybody, what we're doing here. And again, some people haven't done the update yet. <clears throat> so they're not here, but that's why I sent that email yesterday. But if you didn't do the trade, it's too late to do it. Did anybody get out? I said 275. 
But I, I do, do think this goes, goes to 272, 270. 270. So, so let's see. Let's pay attention here now. We'll talk when we're done. Low is 274 and change. One more push in the stubby day. And I like nothing else today. So we're lucky that I found this out of the blue. Two seventy four twenty eight. Again, market will think lower and then rally. Anyways, just like we talked about last week. Again, not touching Apple with a ten foot pole, even though in reality it is nowhere near the pull in the market that it used to have in the past. I don't know. Let's, let's see. see. Let's, let's see if Nvidia can get continue up here. But somewhere today, in my opinion here, people should be out of this trade. So we'll see if it can get through it. Oh, Eric got out of it. Eric didn't got out. Oh, that Nvidia is really something. <clears throat> Again, every once in a while, I will get the dream target and I'll go there. And again, it doesn't mean you should hold every trade at the dream target. But every once in a while, yeah, stuff is going to go to the dream target. So I'm in W day. Some people got out. If you missed it, then I wouldn't do it here, no. If it sets up again, I'll recall it. I hope I didn't miss my exit. Just seeing what the market's doing, but I guess it's too late now. Gotta pay attention in the morning. Gotta pay attention in the morning. Gotta be on top of everything. Uh, that's my fault. It's a massive distraction to have these room things happen for me. Having to respond to everybody, I mean, I could just stop doing it, but I can't help you. Support has to help you. But it has been a major distraction for me in the last week, so... You know, yeah, we we got to get everybody in, and we got to get everybody updated, and we got to get it done, like, today, <laughs> you know, because it's not helping our cause here to profit, especially when there's a lot to look at. Amazon, Amazon again. Everything's higher. Everything. 180, I said, was a dream target in this, and it's going to get there. It's almost there. It's basically there. Again, wasn't an ideal entry for the day trade Friday, but I said if you're desperate for a trade, if you really want to do something, if you really want to do it, you can do it. I don't know if anybody did. I didn't go long this as a day trade on Friday, but we could have, and you could have today. But you got, you really got to watch these things here today. I don't know. 875, if it gets over 850, 860, 865. It's early, we'll, we'll see. see. Again, you know, we're, we're in options in the video. We can't day trade that. It just, it's, it's way too expensive now. It's completely insane. All right, here we go. Debbie Bay. One more push down. I'm going to try to get it down. And I might have missed my exit, but I hope not. I still like it. If it sets up again, I'll call on the trade, so I'm going to do it. It hit fast, and it was really spready, but it went right down there $3. Just went so fast, and I wasn't looking. We can get it on a 277 again. Full stop will be good. Will be very, very good. So you could do 277. Same stop, 280, 60, if you want to do it, if it hits. It's trying. It's trying desperately. I think we're going to be okay with this. Here it goes. Here, you can do this right here now if you didn't do it at 277. Make sure you stop in. Oh, 
think we can look away now though because it's moving so quickly. Time of the day is 9.39. Some people did, some people got out. Who is still in this with me? Some people didn't do it at all. Who is still in W Day with me? Who is still in the video with me? Jackson and Allison's in it. If you got out of some trades Friday, didn't want to hold it at the end of the weekend, I have no problem with that whatsoever at all. No problem with that whatsoever at all. It was Friday, it was a weekend, we had a nice rally, we were up and everything. Trades that were down when Friday from Monday, it was crazy. I'm certainly not calling any new trades today, so. Don't, don't retake things. That's what some of you do. You get out of stuff, then you wish you had held it, then it gaps up, and then you retake it. And I didn't call a new trade, then it's over. So the first exit was into the drop. Again, some people did it got out. I think this is going to go. We gave it a lot of room. We gave it even more room. Want to give it over 281? I mean, I think this is actually going to work in our favor. So screw it. Let's give it 281.30. I'm not doing anything else today. What else would we do? 281.30, and we're just going to ride it out. And I think this is really going to go. So here it is. It's back down around here, 276 and change. Let's look at the market quick. Seventy-five. 
Any questions? Any questions from anyone at all? Um, I don't remember if it was ending tonight. tonight. I, I know there's stuff, I think, tomorrow morning, Tuesday. But I'll double, triple check it. I want to say Target's out this week. Something's out this week that I checked last week. Target could be tomorrow. This looks like it's not moving. Is it just me? Is this moving or is it not moving? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering with life. Go after the sample here. Eh. Target's tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool, we'll be watching that. It's not really moving. Apple is falling. I know, again. If you didn't do this and you want to do something, you could do Apple. I just, I wish I could fall in love with it. It's just so tough to fall in love with that. It, just so hard to fall in love with that. But it is falling. So again, if I get stopped in this, I'm done for the day and I missed my exit and some of you were luckier than me, so we'll see. We gotta get the room back on track. Way too many distractions in the morning for me and I'm the one that has to be focused. If anyone is focused here, it has to be me because I'm making decisions and I'm making them minutes and seconds before the open. So when people are having support issues, number one, I can't help you. And number two, then it's a distraction for me. That's not the reason I'm going to get stopped in this. I don't, I don't think I would have got out of that if I had looked at it. It just was too fast. But I'm saying it's not earning season. And so every day I am narrowing down things right now with extreme concentration because there's just not a lot that's good. In fact, in the last two weeks, I'd say, there's been very little that has been good. <laughs> so, you know, to narrow down the things to do takes all my concentration. Or it's the only way we're going to make money. I called a bunch of trades in Davinia Thomas last week, so I don't know. Whether Apple got big fines or not is neither here nor there. It didn't want to go on the earnings. And after that, I just got off of it. I also think the market's higher. So, if you did this as a day trade and got out of it here and made money, then you could call it a day. Do I think that this is gonna fall today to do a put in it, if that's what you're asking me? No. Well, that's my two cents. Look at what's going on here. I mean, you just got to look at what's going on here. You can't ignore this. Look at this. This will never go down again. I've said it all year. And people were shorting it. Is that the reason it's higher? No. But it's certainly helping it move up. I still think we're going to be okay with this. But it's really a pain in the ass. And the reason is that it fell this morning quick. And now it's just going to sideline. The other thing I was looking at my week last week, man, I traded too many afternoons in the last two weeks too. Wait for things to go. And while that paid off some of the days, like the Amazon day, man, it's draining to do that. It's so draining to sit and watch day trades, not options, day trades, for hours and hours and hours. It's just draining to do it. I don't want to do it. We got to get back to doing the fast trades. I wish I had gotten out of this in two minutes. It's my fault. Tomorrow we're getting back to the quick things if we do anything at all. 
because it's, it's just so draining to trade for six and a half hours all day long. And it's not like that with options. You walk away, you look at it, you don't have to sit on top of it and lean on your computer, but you need to do that with day trades because you must get out like work. And you're trying to time everything right. I just have no conviction this is going to fall. But again, the gap that we did on the day that we did it really was a good gap. So if this falls today, will I be shocked? No, it took a month. So it was a good gap. It rated good on the day of the earnings and the push it failed. And so if this goes today, this is really the gap from the earnings gap that never went right. It took a whole month to go. But because of the bullishness of the market, because of NVIDIA at sky high, which even the potential that it could go to some crazy sick ass number today or tomorrow, NVIDIA could go to 900, I don't even know. I'm not even gonna think about that until I get out of the day trade today. But the fact is, if NVIDIA does that, this, I mean, this won't go anywhere. And right now I want this to go somewhere and it's not. So I will, Study this on my own time when we're done with the day trade here and then determine if it's high or not. But again, my concern is some of these people are just so, so, we're only in W day. What do you mean? We're only in W day. We're only in one thing here, Thomas. The, 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 my concern with the, with the, um, the video is again, people are getting crazy taking risks they shouldn't take because of the cost of them. But everybody's got to make their own decisions. So target is tomorrow morning. And again, we could go long, we could go short. It's going to gap for sure. Whether or not it's going to be a good gap or a nothing burger, that I don't know. But that definitely is going to move. It's not going to go nowhere. This isn't moving, but... So what happens here, let's talk this through. What happens in a market that's extremely bullish or in one trend, which in this case is an uptrend, and it keeps going every day, stocks go with it, market stocks, whatever. Here we go, this is looking better. What happens is then traders, retail traders, particularly day traders and swing traders, guess what? They become very lazy and very complacent in taking positions, stop picks, entries, exits, all of it. Why? Because I think everything's just going to keep going up and going higher. Like we talked about Amazon on Friday. So this is not really a good day trade set up here. But the stock was higher with the market. I liked it all week. But again, theoretically, could you have bought that and made money Friday? Yes, as a day trade. But that, that is like symptomatic of what's going to keep happening. And it's people are going to lose because, because they're going to get lazy. And for every two trades that work like that, 22 will lose. Do you understand what I'm saying? Again, it doesn't mean that anything's going to change with the trend in the market. But people are going to get chopped up. I think we're going to be fine with this, but it's not fast, the fast entry uh, as it was this morning. Mm -hmm.
Because Amazon's, Amazon's crazy. crazy. Any, Any questions? No, no, Thomas, there's, there's more people, people than that, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. You're, I'm, I'm the only one, one that you're, you're, you should be. I'm, I'm the, the only, only one that you should hear. hear. It doesn't, doesn't matter, Thomas. Thomas. You, you should be paying attention, attention to me. You're in this tray. You're in this tray. You're waiting for it to go. If you did it, got out. You get on with your day. If you didn't want to do it because you didn't like it, we're not doing anything else. And again, I already said, no new options today because this market is right in the cusp of an area. Can't short it. May fail here. It's a fight between the death, between the and animal. And, and if, if you, you had, had to ask, ask me, I think that the video wins. So that's, that's my two cents. cents. But if you did a day trade here, here, it actually worked. worked. The fight to the death. That's why we can't look away, because if it has two bars down to 274 or 273 or 272 or whatever, or three bars down, we need to get out of it, because it's, it's like not moving for an hour here, half an hour. So we can't look away. So again, there's two things are going wrong right now in this market. People are going to be complacent with longs. They love it the long anyways. We've discussed that before. People are going to start doing swing trades because they're going to say, well, this is easier than doing day trades. Just buying something and holding it. And again, that's a disaster for a lot of people that don't know what the hell they're doing. But stocks will keep going even, even anything will with the market if the market's really strong, especially for power trends. Then you're going to have people trying to short the market. They're going to try to short it like the video, like, like they try to short the video, because they don't think it's extended, it can't, can't go higher, it can't go higher, and they're going to start shorting it. So you're going to have all of that going on. Meanwhile, we just do our thing. There we go. It's starting to move finally. Slowly but surely. If you didn't watch that video of a hawk, you gotta watch it. So I saw the hawk and I raced to the window. 
and I captured the hawk in the video, and all of a sudden I saw the second one. I didn't even see the second one when I started videoing. I have the video. I have my phone up, and I saw the second one. Then on my right eye, I saw the second one, and the second one was closer than the one I was videotaping. And then I got them both in the shot. That was crazy. And then I saw their feet down. And they went up to the roof. And that was just amazing. Here we go, Dougie Day. Almost, Almost as amazing as this is going to be if it's Hanks. So one, one more push down. One more push from our home free, but you could get out of it here because if you're in it, and if you did it, you're at 274.28. We could get out right here and just call our life easy. Oh, that's me tonight. All right, any questions? 